Hey, can I ask you something? I'm new here, and I was wondering if you know any good places to see in the city? Yes, sure. Welcome to the city. There are many places to see here. Do you like any things in particular? Personally, I love learning about a city's past and its traditions. Then you should definitely go to our city museum. It tells you about the city's old times and culture. The building of the museum is also very beautiful. That sounds good. What about art? Are there any good places for art? Yes, we have a big city art gallery. They have many beautiful works of art. They also have new exhibitions all year. That sounds nice. How about places where I can eat and shop? Any nice places to do that? Yes, you could go to the nearby shopping mall. They have some great small shops, and they also have plenty of places to eat. I will try these places. What about outside activities? I like nature and sun. Yeah, we have a beautiful city park. It's a good place for a walk. It has a nice lake and many walking paths. There's also a garden with rare plants next to it. Thank you for all these ideas. I'm excited to see everything. You'll definitely enjoy it here. The city is full of life, and there are more things to do. Music shows, theater, and other events. I can't wait to start exploring. Thank you for your help. I'm happy to help. Enjoy your stay. I will. Thanks again. You're welcome. Have fun discovering the city. Hey, Jenny. How are you doing today? I know your mom's been quite sick, so I just wanted to check in on you and see how you're going. Yeah, it's been a difficult time. I appreciate you checking in on me. Of course, Jenny. We're friends. So how is she going? Has there been any progress? Thankfully, yes. She was really ill when she first went in, but now she's showing signs of recovery. The doctors say her health is improving slowly. I'm so relieved to hear that. It's always hard when someone you love is unwell. Yes, it really is. But knowing she's getting better makes things a bit easier. That's true. And remember, your mental health is also important in times like these. I know. It's hard, but I'm trying to stay strong for her and the family. You're doing great. Trust me. Just remember to also take care of yourself. I'll try. Thanks for reminding me. It's no problem at all. Can I do anything to help? Would it be okay if I came to visit or brought you guys some home-cooked meals? That's really kind of you to offer, right now. The doctors want her to rest and limit visitors, but the meal idea sounds nice. I understand. Then how about I drop off some meals at your house? That way you don't have to worry about cooking and can focus on your mom. That would be very helpful. Thank you so much. It's no trouble at all. I'm here for you. And when your mom is up to it, maybe we could cheer her up with some of her favorite things. That sounds wonderful. She loves roses. Seeing them would certainly make her day. Great. Let's do that then. We'll bring some roses when she feels up to having visitors. She would love that. You're such a good friend. I'm just doing what friends do. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do to help, okay? I will. Thanks again for all your support. Anytime. You're not alone in this. Remember that. We'll navigate through this together. Yes, we will. Thanks for being there for me. Of course. Take care and do keep me updated about your mom's health. Hey son, we need to have a little chat about something I've noticed lately. What is it, Dad? Well, it seems like you're spending a lot of time on your phone. I often see you scrolling on it. Yeah, I chat with my friends a lot on social media. It's kind of our thing. I can understand that, son. Social media has its benefits, and it's a new way of communication. However, I feel that you're using it excessively. It's important to remember that balance is key. But social media is just how we stay connected. It's different from when you were my age. Yes, son, I understand that times have changed. Social media wasn't a thing when I was your age. But remember, everything has its pros and cons. I know, Dad, but it's tough. All my friends are always online. It feels like if I'm not there, I'll miss out. Fear of missing out is common. 
But son, there's a world beyond the screen too. It's filled with real experiences and adventures. Don't you miss playing football in the park or reading your favorite comic books? Of course I do, Dad. But it's just that social media has become an important part of our lives. I get that, son. But it's crucial to create a balance. Remember how you loved painting and cycling. Those activities help you relax and also keep you physically fit. It's important not to forget, though. You're right, Dad. I haven't painted or cycled in a long time. I just feel like I don't have the time. And that's why we're having this conversation, son. You can make time for other activities, too, if you cut down a bit on your screen time. It's not about completely stopping your social media use, but managing it better. I understand your point, Dad, but it's easier said than done. I know it's not easy, son. Change isn't easy. But think of it this way. By reducing your screen time, you're opening up more opportunities for real-life experiences. That's true, Dad. I guess I'll give it a thought. That's all I'm asking for, son. Reflect on it. And remember, I'm here to support you no matter what. Now, how about we dust off those old bikes and go for a ride? That sounds like a great idea, Dad. I can't even remember the last time we rode bikes together. Good to hear, son. Let's make the most of this day, shall we? Yep, let's do that. Hey, Greg, I've recently started going for runs in the morning and I've been feeling so good because of it. You should join me next time. Morning runs? Sounds fun. But I really don't like waking up early. I know. It's hard getting up early, but it's very good for your health. I promise you'll feel better once you get used to it. Hmm, I'm not so sure. It sounds like a lot of work. It's not as hard as you think. Start by setting your alarm clock a bit earlier every day, maybe 15 minutes. In a few days, your body will get used to the new time. Okay. But won't it be too cold that early in the morning? At first, yes. But as you run, your body warms up. You'll hardly notice the cold after a while. I guess. But I don't really have good running shoes. You don't need fancy shoes to start. Any comfortable pair will do. Later, if you like running, you can get better shoes. But what if I get too tired? I'm not very fit. That's okay. You can start slow. Maybe walk first, then run. As you do it more, you'll get stronger. Then you can run longer. You make a good argument, but it still sounds hard. I won't lie. It is hard at first. But think of how good you'll feel. You'll have more energy during the day, and you'll be stronger and healthier. And, you know, we can chat while we run. It will be fun. Okay. You've convinced me. I guess I could give it a try. That's the spirit. We can start tomorrow, okay? All right, I'll try. But remember, I'm not a morning person. Don't worry, we'll take it slow. I'm excited, it's gonna be great. We'll see about that. My dear, did you remember that we have planned dinner with my parents this weekend? Yes, I remember. You're talking about this Saturday, aren't you? That's right, this Saturday. And remember, we should leave a bit earlier to avoid traffic. My parents will be waiting. I understand, but I should tell you, I'm not feeling quite myself today. Really? What's the problem, honey? I've got this nagging headache and I feel worn out. I suspect I'm catching a cold or something. That doesn't sound good at all. Did you take any medicine? Not yet. I was hoping it would clear up on its own but it's not getting any better. That's concerning. You should definitely rest and consider taking some medication. If you're still feeling unwell, we could perhaps postpone our visit. I'm a little reluctant. I don't want to let them down. They will understand, I'm sure. After all, health comes first. You're right, but I know how much they look forward to these visits. They do? but they would certainly prefer you to be in good health rather than come and risk feeling worse. They care about you. Yes, I suppose you're right. I'll monitor my condition tomorrow and see how I feel. Good. Now let's get you into bed and I'll fetch you some medicine.
We have a few days left before the dinner. Let's hope you feel better by then. But remember, it's okay if you don't. My parents will understand. And you should prioritize your health over everything else. I really appreciate your understanding. I'll try to rest now and hopefully I'll bounce back in no time. Let's do our best to keep you healthy and we can worry about the dinner later. Now get some rest, love. Hey, Tom. Do you want to go see a movie at the cinema with me? That sounds great. I love going to the cinema. But what's on at the moment? Not sure. I think we should look up the movie times and see what's playing at our local cinema. Yes, that's a great idea. I hope that there's something we'll both enjoy. All right. I had a look at the movies playing at the cinema. It looks like there are a few different films showing. An action movie, a comedy, a romance film, and a sci-fi movie. Action movies aren't really my thing. Too much noise and not enough story, you know. But a comedy might be fun. I know what you mean about action films. I personally do enjoy them. But I can see why they aren't everyone's cup of tea. And I've heard some good things about the sci-fi film, too. Oh, really? What's the sci-fi film called? It's called Star Worlds. The reviews look promising. Should we see that? That does sound exciting, but I'm not sure I want to see a sci-fi movie. I was hoping for something a little more relaxing. What about the comedy film? The comedy movie is called Laugh Out Loud. It's about a regular guy who bets his friends that he can make the most serious person in town burst out laughing. That could be a good laugh. I could use something lighthearted. What's your opinion? Well, I think they both sound good in their own ways. Star Worlds would surely be an epic journey, but Laugh Out Loud seems like it could provide some much-needed laughs. You're right, and I think you've convinced me. Let's go for the comedy. It's been a while since I watched a funny movie. Agreed. Let's see Laugh Out Loud at the cinema. I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. I think so, too. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. I'll buy the tickets online now to make sure we get good seats. Thanks for sorting that out. I appreciate it. No worries at all. I think we should meet at the cinema about an hour before the movie starts. That will give us time to get snacks. Oh, yes. I can't watch a movie without popcorn. Sounds like a plan. Perfect. This is going to be fun. Can't wait to see the movie and have a good laugh. Hey, Sam. I just started listening to podcasts. Do you know any good podcasts worth recommending to me? Oh, really? I listen to podcasts all the time. What kind of podcasts are you interested in? Well, I like stories and interesting facts. Something fun and easy to follow. Great. I think you might like a podcast called Fun Facts with Freddy. It's about fun facts and strange things in life. Wow, that sounds interesting. What kind of strange things do they talk about? It explores the hidden side of things. Like why we do what we do and what connects everything. It's fun and you learn lots. Sounds good. Any other recommendations? If you like stories, try the moth. Real people tell their own interesting stories. Some stories are funny. Some are serious. It's very good. That sounds like something I'd enjoy. I love real stories, so I'll check it out. Thanks for the tips. No problem. Enjoy listening. Let me know how you find them. I can suggest more if you want. I sure will. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm really excited to get into these. You're welcome. Podcasts are a great way to learn and have fun. I think you'll really enjoy them. If you want to continue learning English today, click on this video here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video.